It's waiting. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Sorry, language. Oh, that scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> All right, so this morning, I'm heading out for a uh, gravel world simulation ride. Hope you can hear me, it's kind of windy. It's just be a long day. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, make sure I can get well fueled, work out any kinks in that plan before gravel worlds in a few weeks. So, hopefully it's good. Kind of looking forward to this ride, kind of not. For pacing, I'm gonna go kind of hard at the beginning once I hit the gravel. Just to kind of maybe simulate trying to stick with a decent group of gravel worlds. And then we'll see what happens. Kind of settle in later. I'm gonna pass on your left. It'd be nice if I could try to go a little hard later then too. But we'll see. I've got my maltodextrin fructose mix in two bottles. Should be good for a couple hours. I'm gonna switch over to for to Cliff Bars. We'll see how that goes. And I got Swedish fish too. I'm trying to go down to uh, heading to Nebraska City. It's about 75 miles, and then I will refill water and everything there. Get more of that maltodextrin fructose mix. Morning. Hello. I try to use that for the next couple hours. And then back to Swedish fish and cliff bars and stuff. But we shall see. We've got a couple of MMRs on this route. One of them has a Strava segment. I might go for it. We'll see. Mike Campy has a KOM. That guy makes watts more than I do. So it's a fool's errand probably, but hey, it's a simulation ride, right? Let's go for it. Send it. things are called crop testers too. But that's more Tyler's line of thinking. I'm the classy one. <laughs> oh man, that's too cool. I gotta get back to this ride. Highlight, the highlight of this ride. Almost 74 miles in. Uh, I'm getting tired. It's to be expected. I've ridden pretty good pace coming here as far as power goes or effort. I don't even know what my power is. I haven't really looked at it. Well, at least not the normalized power. So, you know, I went through those two bottles of maltodextrin and fructose 
my DIY beta al beta alanine, beta fuel, you know, a couple hours ago, two and a half hours ago. I kind of wonder if that's why I'm feeling a little bit sluggish. Like my leg's a little sore, but I can still put out power. So I'm gonna get some water and I brought some more of that mix. Stop at a Casey's here and see how that uh, how that works. I'm hopeful. Like they say, there's always dark periods in a long ride, and there's always hot, good periods, and neither one will last. So, oh hell. mix full camelback had a Red Bull bought a trucks and bucks sticker felt lucky got let's do some math 25 plus 32 I have like what 57 miles left I don't remember how hilly it is probably about the same my average mile per hour right now is 15 and a half just because of the stops I was only doing about mid 16s though, so I don't know if that bodes poorly for gravel worlds or not, but it's okay. I'm more curious to see how this mix does with my energy levels and uh, just how the rest of the ride goes. About 102 miles in. I'm tired. Kind of a little bored, maybe. But. I don't know. Went through some ups and downs. Looks like I'm coming into a Voca now. A little over 30 miles left. <clears throat> Let's keep getting after it, I guess. Oh, it's a lot of gear. Back on the Mopac. 124 miles in. So tired. So tired. There's a big part of me just wants to stop in Springfield and call for a ride. I mean, it's not that far from Springfield to my mom's house. But... Oh man. Just keep me these. <laughs> Keeping the pedals ticking over, just about all I can do right now. I'm pretty much there. In a minute or so. I'm wiped. Oh, sh <laughs> almost another bad one. So glad to be here. Just want to lay down. Rachel's here with my change of clothes. Good. <sighs> so yeah, I just wanted to put it together a bit of a wrap up from the simulation ride I did for Gravel Worlds uh, two weekends ago. That's <laughs> I did video during the ride, and it was a pretty good little good demonstration of my uh, slow meltdown <laughs> throughout the thing. Uh, but part of that meltdown was when once I got done with the ride I was just like done <laughs> so um, Rachel is getting around to editing it now and realized we don't have anything as far as like how to go what did I learn from it uh, what am I gonna change because of that ride so here I am gonna do that uh, do that little thing now what did I take away from this ride maybe we'll start with nutrition I still really like that maltodextrin and fructose mix that I'm making now is kind of like SIS beta fuel. Honestly, I would just use SIS beta fuel. Um, I just don't really want to spend the money on that right now. And also I found that the little tear off things on the packets that you get with them didn't actually open the, <laughs> the package. It 
tore, but it was still closed. I had to get scissors out to cut it, and I don't want to have to deal with that at the checkpoints at Gravel World. So that's a minor point. I'm sure I could figure something out there, but what I've done, or what I did for this rise, I put 60 grams of maltodextrin and 30 grams of fructose in each of the bottles, and I made a couple of baggies with that in it too. Each one also had an SIS electrolyte tab and a little bit of L-glutamine because, I don't know, if I had branched chain amino acids at home right now, I'd probably use those. Um, but just a little, a little amino acid in there. I, I don't know. I know some mixes use that and I had it at home and I don't believe it'll hurt. So at the worst, it's just kind of a neutral thing. Anyway, I used that. The previous time I'd used it, I mixed it up 75-25, um, and I really like that. The 60, or no, I'm sorry, it's not 75-25, 50-25, maltodextrin fructose. Um, I really liked that. The sec This time I did 60 grams of maltodextrin and 30 of fructose to kind of get that full 90 grams of carbohydrates that I could take in in an hour if I drank that entire bottle in an hour. It still worked. My stomach was fine with it and I could drink it almost as fast as I wanted to. I mean, I took about an hour for each bottle and my stomach was fine. Love that. The only problem was it was, this time it, it was a little on the sweet side for me. My first takeaway on nutrition there was I was gonna back off on the concentration of the sugars in there. So that's what I'm gonna go with, with for Gravel Worlds. Whenever I can have that mix in bottles, depending on how checkpoints and everything shake out. The other thing I was looking at was pacing for Gravel Worlds. Um, I tried out a thing at Bohemian Stow Mill where I just kind of started out steady and kept it steady and just let the front guys just go. And it got real hot at Stow Mill and I went steady and I melted down <laughs> towards the end with the heat. So I wanted to try. And after, you know, Josh Shear made a comment in that last YouTube video we made saying kind of what I was coming to think was that, you know, you just gotta go. Just go as much as you can. I mean, be reasonable. <laughs> but uh, I think if I try to pace it too steady early on, I'm gonna miss out on groups and not be able to finish with the time that I want to. So in this ride, what I did is I just kind of, I didn't hold back at the start. I didn't go buck wild, but I did go for a KOM segment that was maybe, if I remember correctly, it was like three-ish minutes long, three to five minutes long. So, I mean, it's relatively short but I, I went for it and I got it so I wasn't wasn't going easy wasn't going easy there and then aside from that I was kind of hitting the hills at about I don't know not again not super hard I'm not killing myself but I'm not holding back thinking oh I gotta keep staying zone two so I tried that out and it got hot and I melted down so that tells me it doesn't matter a whole lot if I am staying steady at the beginning or if I'm gonna kind of go a little harder to stay with the group. If it gets hot and I'm not able to stay cool, I'm gonna melt down either way. So may as well get further along the course before that happens, right? Gravel Worlds just released their uh, list of checkpoints and oases for the course. So I'm starting to put together now and I, uh, some plans for when I'm gonna be able to refill water and all that. Hoping it's not super hot. I, I'll take the rain over heat, but yeah. My speed, I was hoping to hold an average closer to 18 miles an hour or so, and it just didn't happen. A big reason of that was all the MMRs that I had in the route that I didn't really realize I had that many MMRs and they were so rough that you just, you just killed your speed. Also spent some time getting a little bit of footage for the vlog so I don't know my goal for gravel worlds is still eight and a half hours or less it's a big ask um, just with all the stuff we've been doing or that I've been doing this summer that 18 miles an hour 17 and a half to 18 mile an hour average feels like it's gonna be faster than I can do but I still think it's I don't know. I, I think I'm capable of it. I'm still shooting for eight and a half hours, hoping to get in a good group at the beginning um, and just ride that wave and, you know, take my turns and 
drive that pace without we're using too much energy um, but I'm not gonna hold back and stay super steady and let a group go away just because I don't want to do threshold up a climb those are my takeaways if it's hot I'm gonna ditch the aero helmet can look for ways to get cold water as much as I can I'm not gonna hold back and stay super steady at the beginning I'm gonna use reason and not go blow myself up either but I have the fitness I think to go pretty decently hard to stay with a group and recover from that and um, I'm gonna use that maltodextrin and fructose mix for nutrition I'm also gonna be bringing along a bunch of SIS gels because I really like those um, and I don't know that I'll be able to have that drink mixed and on my bike or body at all times so there are gonna be times I'll just have water so I'm gonna to want to have those SIS gels as well. Gravel Worlds is in just over a week and a half now I'm getting real stoked real excited I think it's gonna be a lot of a lot of fun and a lot of suffering but you know type 2 fun. I'd love to hear you guys comments on the video if I said something just stupid during this time and you're like dude don't do that do this let me know I'm open. Um, I've done Gravel Worlds once before. I've done other long rides, so I have some experience, but I'll take, I'll take advice. Um, give us a uh, thumbs up down below, and uh, give us a subscribe, and click that bell. We shall see you soon. Footage from Calvin Crest should be coming up soon too, hopefully before Gravel Worlds, but yeah, maybe we'll wait until after Gravel Worlds. It all depends on how our editor, AKA Rachel, <laughs> is dealing with all of the other life stuff that comes along. So, thanks guys, and um, we'll see you when I see you. Later. I'm gonna stop here and recalibrate the power meter again. We're not calibrate, hate that. You're not calibrating anything on these things. You're just setting an offset, a zero offset. Calibration would mean going in and changing values to get a more accurate response. It's not what we're doing. Quality guy response.